Guys, good morning, it's me Luis. Welcome to the BD Car Auto Glass replacement in Irving, Texas. Today we're gonna put a new glass on this one. It's the GTR 2018. It's nothing another another word, you know, it's really easy job. So sometimes we'll be intimidated because they got fancy cars or luxury cars, but they're really easy to do it. Now, this one uh don't take the idea the molding outside by the pillars are the same like the Maximus, all right? Because the Maximus is only with clips. This one will be the same method of the Infinities. Remember the old ones when we come in the two doors, Infinities Q35s, coming with the, you know, the screws. So remember we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine uh, Phillips, okay? Remember on this one I recommend you, don't use the drill, use the impact drill because the impact is gonna just break these guys easy because and remember use the right tip uh, on this one I mean the right screwdriver in uh, you know the, the bit on this one the right one because sometimes the people they mess with these guys all the time so the impact wrench is the better okay so the mirror I just left it like that because I got this nickel so what I don't want to do is mess with that because sometimes you break it and pff, they're gonna make you pay for the new one also this guy has a couple of you know beetle 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 and after that a couple of clips like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips. Very easy. So I already take one out. One, because in that way you can see the next one. How do I pull it? So let me show you. And the bottom. Remember, we use those kind of dobber pins. Just cut the, the dobbers and use. Now, careful on the here is a foam, open cell foam. Don't break it and don't mess with that. Okay, because you're gonna be in trouble or get a uh, wind noise if you make a problems with that. So now, on this one, what I do? Because I don't want to mess anything here, no scratches, no chips. You don't have to make it because they're easy, but extra protection always is better. Especially when the finish on these kind of colors, because you don't want to scratch or something, it's plastic. And you don't want to be involved in those kind of repairs or replacement when you don't have to. So, some little piece of tape works enough. After that, because what I do always is protect these areas. The, on the top is the paint for the same color of the car, so it's no big deal. But this molding, believe me, it's better you take extra protections on these vehicles. Okay, after that, it's easy. You can use any kind of plastic or even your fingers. You don't want to use any fry. But if you want to help a little bit, open a little bit remember this guy is hooking inside so careful just open carefully you see it's coming really easy you see that now if you don't want to pry here just easy okay and now it's doing this because we have a little clip the same like the Mustangs or the Infinity because the Mustangs they have the same thing it's right sorry it's right here okay so the only you have to do is open a little bit okay when you get it out this guy is easy even with your fingers you can remove this guy okay now remember this hook right there so it's remember it has you need to have this uh double face tape because you're gonna reuse it again so just right there I'm gonna use my stick a little bit because I'm gonna put a new one. Careful with the encapsulate, don't make any mark. I'm just breaking a little bit the glue. Right there. There you go. Alright. And remember, I have a new uh, this double face tape because you're gonna have to replace it. It is just beautiful. And that's all. Okay, guys, really easy. And you don't have to damage or break it. Some guys, last time I have a, uh, a friend, he thought this is separate mold and he tried to pull it out and he broke it. So just careful right there, okay? And living like this, in a safe place. Now, the bottom is no big deal. Remember like the Infinities, always the cover for the battery, the components, clips like regular, you know, like Infinities of nothing on the other world. Now, you have ex excess of glue, like you see here. I'm gonna use my crepper from WRD or the better you want and just cut a little bit without scratch just on the edge okay and there you go 
and just cut all the way down because that's gonna make me clean a little bit the urethra. Now here what I can do is this Alright, so we clean the excess right there. Always they got a little excess of the glue. Always. Okay, I'm going to the edge of the glass. Okay, the, the noise you're hearing is not the paint, it's just the glass. I'm going close to the glass. So I don't want to scratch the paint. Just to help me a little bit, just to avoid. Now, here is really tight. If I want, I can ruin my zip knife here to here. The top I already make a little pre-cut and these guys always come out easy so let me see if I can get them out I already pre-cut a little bit let me get them out from the other side you can use the zip knife on this one or you can use the core This one I did is a pre-cut with a little razor blade, but really outside, not deep, or you're gonna make a bad scratches on the pitch wheel. I just did a little, little teeny cut, and the molding come up easy. All right, there's my razor when I cut this guy. So just careful, do not scratch the pitch wheel. Now, what I'm doing, because I got a lot of work today, I'm gonna make this one fast. Now, I'm driving this van because my other Pro Master I hit something on the highway. I got one bearing is broken. The fan is broken. The axle is broken. So I don't have my truck today for probably through two weeks. So I'm gonna use my van, my old van. It never fail. All right, so I'm gonna make a pre-cut here. So I'm gonna go a little bit more faster. I got a lot of room here. Remember, finger touching. I'm pushing this way. You see, the way is really easy. Now here, just watch out, it's better you hurt your fingers and don't scratch the paint. There you go, come out easy. Now pre-cut on the top. That one will have a lot of room. Okay, I'm doing a little harder. There you go. Make sure you avoid the pillar, okay? Don't stuck with the pillar and cut the letters or the interior design on any vehicle. Okay, and now again here. And we get the first layer cut. Oops. Today is really hot. So let me get my dragon skin. Whew. This trick here, never pull this way or you're gonna scratch, it's like this, control the cat in this way, okay? Remember here, careful in this area, so what I do always put my finger in that way. So my finger hurt a little bit, but no big deal. Now when you cannot control the pull, just go straight, like that. Careful with the interior. And that's all. So we got half of this windshield cut. Not just the bottom. And we finished. I can use my uh, uh, wire technique with the handles. But if I want to use just this guy, I'm sick I use it. So the only thing I have to do is straight with this guy. Okay, like this. Now because it's kind of harder, just open the glass 
too much to uh, use the, the the whole roll. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna anchor this guy after I make just a double line right there. So what I'm doing here is because I gotta cut the bottom, remember? Or I can use maybe this tractor, but I cannot use it anymore. Prescription of the doctor. So I cannot use that's why you never uh, saw me again use these tractors. Not because I don't want it, because I cannot do it. For healthy problems. Alright. So this is the bottom. I hate the nickels on the mirrors. Now you see we're gonna go the bottom first. Right there. Remember watch out with the upper cell form. Don't mess up with that one. Remember, we already cut this guy, so open it. Boy, system all the way there. And now the lines go in, okay? I did this because I don't want to cut the line, okay? I couldn't cut the line and that's it, but I don't want to just wash my line. So it's just some of the ridges for the next one. And that's all. And um, let's make the cut. We're finished. Now it's gonna go. I'm working with this angle because if I go on my angle like this, is too much force on the bottom for one cut, and it's gonna slide in my, my, my system. Okay, so that's why. All right, guys, let's go through. Remember, we cut the pin already because I forget I have to go around the pin and I went straight to the pin, so that's why I, I was a little more resistant right there. I go slowly because I'm going straight forward. Okay. Okay, guys, and sorry, I have to get the video, but see you in the next shot, okay? Just to install. So we better set the glass as an OEM glass. It's kind of windy today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Find the main number. And let it sit. Alright. Bin number right. It's a hard day. Well, remember, you gotta grab it to stop, so it's not a big deal. Okay, guys, um, we finished. Okay, guys, we finished. I'm gonna just put it down. Pushing down, I mean, and put all back together and see you next shot because we're busy. Busy. Okay, guys, see you next shot. Ah, go.